Yo, what up everyone? Your boy Mo back. Now, today we're checking out the brand new Logitech MX Master 4. Now, this is probably going to be one of the most smoothest and smartest editing tool that I have ever used. All right, so there's going to be two versions of this actual mouse right here. Now, there is going to be a PC version. So when you guys go and try to place an order or pick one up at the store, make sure that you're picking up the right one for <clears throat> the type of computer that you that you have. So there's going to be one specifically, I believe, made uh, for PC. And there's also going to be one that says Mac and iPad on the actual box. So please be very, very aware of which one is it that you're getting. Make sure it's the right one for the type of equipment that you're using it for. All right, so here we have the, I believe the MX3 and the MX4. So this model right here, I've had this one for years. I've been using the MX mouse, I would say over 10 years. That has been just my main mouse to go to. Now, if you're an editor or you do a lot of Photoshop or graphic work or any type of computer work, this is probably gonna be the mouse that everyone uses um so i've been rocking this one for years and it's still holding up pretty well um obviously it does have a little bit of wear and tear but the moral of the story is the battery still works well all the functions work well um so i really have no complaints i mean this thing really holds up well but out the box comparing it to the new version I feel like the build quality and overall design, it has been modified, I believe, a tad bit. I don't know what's the last final finish of the MX4, but it does feel like it has been refined just a little bit. Maybe it's going to last a little bit longer or it's going to age um, a little bit, you know, well. Uh, but again, I have no complaints with the previous gen model. It still holds up pretty well if you ask me so it being a revamped version of the mx series they did add a couple new features on the mx4 and that being said it is the all new haptic feedback which is located here on the side now you might ask well what is that so what that is it's pretty much going to now give you a tactile response for gestures in app control. Now, the second new feature would be action ring shortcuts, like I said in the previous video clip. Now, this MX Master Series is literally super customizable to your workflow. Uh, so pretty much, again, uh, the action ring is gonna let you create shortcuts instantly. And one of the coolest things is it just lets you customize it to whatever program certain programs uh, i think like adobe photoshop and and other certain programs that are programmed under their actual app that are pretty much work with the mx master series uh, which again it's really cool how the actual mouse is really customizable to your workflow to get things done and just make things more comfortable in order for you to get the job done so you're still going to have that buttery smooth scroll wheel which i am definitely not complaining uh so one other new button that i have seen that has been added to this actual uh mx4 is there's now a third button on the side of the actual mouse which again it is fully customizable you could go into the actual settings and customize this to your actual workflow which is a plus in my book battery life there's really no complaints when it comes to battery life but i think according to logitech the battery life on the mx4 has been revamped which is solid as well there's no complaints on my end the actual sensor has also been upgraded and it's also i believe uh glass tracking now i have not used a mouse pad in years and i've used this on my actual tabletop and it works flawlessly no issues with the actual tracking and now being a thousand dpi <laughs> there's really no complaints uh the upgrades are definitely a plus on my book 
But all in all, this is a dope ass mouse. If you are not editing or working on the MX Master Series, then you are literally missing out. So that's pretty much for this one. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Hit the like button as it really does help out the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.